Good evening, everybody. So my elevator pitch is going to be on hair care. There are many things that come with maintaining your hair. Keep in mind, everybody has different hair types. For example, my hair is very curly, so it gets a lot drier faster than someone with straighter hair. I have to wash it more often than someone with straighter hair. The thing that we all do have in common, we put it in a bun every single day. We have to put gel, hairspray, and all sorts of hair products to keep your hair nice and tight and make sure there's no flyaways, things like that. Or not too many, at least. Marines are known for their high standards, and especially for females when it comes to hair, it has to be kept, it has to be maintained as, as best as possible. But that kind of thing can take a toll on your hair and it can result in receding hairlines, um, bald spots, or any other type of hair loss in the long run. After your first enlistment um, or your second, you'll start to notice that kind of thing. So this is my elevator pitch to help you reduce that. A lot of hair seems to come out when you're showering, when you're washing your hair after a long day. Again, everybody has different hair types. So your shampoo is different from my shampoo or their shampoo. So the shampoo that I have started to use is Mane and Tail because this helps with a lot of damaged hair or dry hair and it promotes hair growth and it thickens your hair out a little bit better. You always want to make sure you brush it out first. I usually use this brush. Um, it detangles a lot quicker than normal brushes. Um, it leaves the curls in my hair when I start to brush it out. So I'll use that brush right before I shower. And anytime it's dry, really, if I need to brush it out at all, I'll just use that brush. It's really good. Mm. Let's talk about putting your hair in a bun this time. So for something that my gunnery sergeant taught me was to use coconut oil um, or any natural oil really you could put in your hair um, there is a oil out there I think it's canola oil if I'm not mistaken it is very good for your hair it's very sticky though so it's like a gel type of consistency um, it is very sticky if I use coconut oil. This is virgin coconut oil, so I get this in the food aisle on the commissary, at the commissary. And I will put that throughout my hair, throughout the whole thing, um, just to make sure my hair is fully coated in that coconut oil before I put my hair up in a bun. Also, I don't recommend you putting your hair up when it's wet. That is not a good idea. It breaks out your hair even more. It gets to the cuticle of your hair, and it thins it out, right? Because it's training your hair to be squished up and thin like that and it's just not a good thing. So put your hair while it's dry, um, wet it as you go, right? Don't, don't do the whole thing just straight out the shower. So let your hair dry overnight, wake up in the morning however early and do your hair then, right? So after your hair is coated completely in that coconut oil, then, uh, and then you put your hair up in your ponytail, you do what you gotta do, right? Throughout the process, just put a layer of whatever gel that you use um, in your the top of your head, on the bun area, um, in your braid, if you do twisty braids, or just throughout, if you're gonna twist it, throughout your braid, and then just wrap it up in your bun or make your little donut hole. The coconut oil right here, protects your hair from that gel. And you know, if you want to get fancy with your hair, um, do what you will. Let's say you want to part it. So a good idea, you know, a cool brush to use is a rat tail comb. Um, but when you do part it, if you keep doing one area over and over and over again, you're gonna train your hair. So naturally that area is gonna stop growing hair there and you're gonna pull all that hair out and it's going to stop growing completely. Sleeping with your hair. So if you like to shower right before you sleep like I do, silky pillowcases. I recently just got these pillowcases. They are a great idea. So there's like pros and cons to silky pillowcases. 
they're hot as hell when the AC turns off in the barracks or, or whatever you're going through. <laughs> it can get really hot, but it's very good for your hair. It prevents breakouts in your hair. Um, and it makes sure that all that moisture that's in your hair stays in your hair and it doesn't get soaked up by that fabric or your pillow. And it also protects your pillow so your pillow lasts longer. And whatever you do in your sleep doesn't get through the pillow. So that's a very good idea. A very good thing to have too. I just recently got those so I'm gonna see how that turns out. <laughs> microfiber towels. So microfiber towels are really good for drying your hair. They are, they don't, rubbing your hair with your towel so hard isn't very good for your hair. I mean, it'll pull out your hair and things like that. Especially when it's wet, it's very sensitive to just rip on out. You can use shirts or microfiber towels, microfiber towels. But I, they just lock all that moisture in and they, they help your hair. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Um, you'll see a big difference in the moisture of your hair. If you keep doing these things, nothing is going to, you know, magically make your hair very voluminous and amazing and beautiful. Um, this is just to reduce that hair loss. This is everything I do to reduce that hair loss and to keep my thick curls where they're at. <laughs> and I plan on being in the Marine Corps for a very long time. So I recommend doing these things to help you as well for as long as you want to be or just for regular everyday hairstyles so that is my elevator pitch please use these products